it up, baby. Grab them like a piece of meat. Touch them. Rubbish. <laughs> oh. They were oiled up. A bit of a saucy ring, should I say? I just want to give them a round of applause. How do you feel about Sharon's decision last night to abstain from the vote? Oh. Do you think it, do you, do you agree with her decision or do you think it might be a different outcome if she'd? Um, I mean, it was just difficult. I think she followed her heart at that time. It's like, if you have two kids and someone says pick one of them to have their head chopped off, so I use the term, I can't think of <laughs> anything else, but you just wouldn't, I don't think you'd, you probably wouldn't say, I don't want to have a say, right? but it was difficult. Me and Shelley are both her acts, yeah. and we're both standing there, but I mean, I think I, I knew it was going to happen because nobody knew who I was, and I wasn't portrayed, you know, in the way that, I could have been because I've done a lot of filming and I've done all my auditions and hardly any were shown. Do you think so. that's what it was then? Do you think that just not enough of you were shown? Could have, it could have been that, but also, you know, everything happens for a reason. And I've learned that in my life, like over my journeys and tracing my dream. Um, you really do find um, success in hopeless places, but it's success is a journey. It's not particularly a destination. So it's never going to be easy for me because I'm that type of person. I always have to, you know, and, and I will do it because I can do it. You oh, know. Good for you. Sounds like you've got a really good attitude about it all anyway, really positive. Oh, it's all experience. Huh? Yeah. Is it worse being in the sing off with someone from your own category? Um, if it's somebody who you're actually close to. Yeah. Um, or someone that you, you've been working with at long, it, it, it's really difficult. And me and Shelley are quite close, and we share the same room, we were close from boot camp. Yeah. And honestly, it was huge. Behind the scene, we were holding each other's hand, and she was like, I love you, Lorna. And I went, I love you too, because that's how we are. And it was like, it's, oh, it's horrible. But, you know, that, that's the way the cookie crumbles. It's a TV show. It's yeah. a, they have to, you know, but it's for all of us to find our own way. It's great. I've got the platform, fine, I wasn't portrayed in the best way, but I will always have the upper hand because I'm stylish, I have my own persona. That wasn't me. The vocals was me, but this is who I am, this and I'm ready to show everyone who I am. Good for you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> now, Sharon was speechless last night for once oh, in her life. Yeah. Uh, what did she say to you when you came off stage? Oh, she was just like, you know what, you keep on going, missus, as she always says. But she's so like, I knew that she felt it, you know, but she's just like, she's always been like that auntie, I know I can talk to her. Um, just supportive, you know, and it helped that I had family. <laughs> I just like. Yeah, you're saying she's like a, so she's like an, she's like an aunt. She's, she's like an aunt and she's like, she doesn't, she, oh, she won't you know, she wouldn't play that way. She was put on the spot, she stays true to who she is. She's just a, a real person. But is it because she comes from South London, Brixton, could it be that? Oh, probably it's got something to do with it, hasn't it, <laughs> yeah, Lorna? Yeah. yeah, probably. Um, on a more positive uh, note, you've had great feedback this weekend. Yeah. And uh, you dance with some hot men, let's be honest. They oh. were oiled up. I How? just want to give them a round of applause, because you know what? I was really thrown off by them. I was like, look, okay. They were like, seriously, they could just stand there in a museum all day. You would not believe they're real. They're just like perfect head to toe. I mean, how did you get through your performance? Well, it was hard, but they were really supportive. They're like, come on, Lorna, you can do well. I was like, oh my God. Because everyone, I reckon they must have given them feedback and said, Lorna's quite, you know, edgy and she's quite a little bit of a saucy a bit of a saucy ring, should I say? Yeah. But slight edge, not so much. So with that song, So Emotional, it's quite almost like the no-go zone. I'm so emotional, but I can't have... So it, all the surrounding was just perfect. But I just wanted to go on to show that I can do that, but who I am at heart is a lover and passion, and that comes out in the ballads. So probably, yeah, I would have liked to have gone on to show it, yeah. but I'm going to go on and show it whether it's on X Factor or not. Yeah. Can I just ask how everyone else was reacting to those men backstage? <laughs> <laughs> OK, everyone's like got a certain thing for a certain dancer. I won't say his name, but he probably knows who he is. Um, they were just like, oh my gosh, how come you got those dancers? Like, I, I don't know, I was literally, you know, Cisco, the choreographer, 
you know, he was just brill. I think he was really on point. He was like, nah, you're doing so emotional. Sex it up, baby. Grab them like a piece of meat. Touch them, go like this. And, you know, because at first I was like, I, I couldn't do it. But after that, I just got, you know, so comfortable with them. That they're great, you know, they're good at what they do. It was definitely a very <laughs> enjoyable performance for lots of different reasons. Yeah. Um, now, Gary announced on Saturday, this is his last year on X Factor. Louis said he's off and Sharon said she's only going to be back for one series. Are there any whispers in the X Factor camp as to who might replace them in the future? Oh, God knows. I really didn't even know that. I knew that, um, you know, Sharon's got her job and she's got, you know, her family. Um, I did hear, like, but I don't tend to believe, um, listen to speculation, but he did announce it that they're leaving. God knows, but I think they will, you know, put the perfect, the right people, people who've been in the industry a long time, they will put the right people there. And because they're amazing and they're incredible they i used to have all their pictures on my wall you know it was, it's just strange so there aren't any whispers oh. at the moment of who might i don't i haven't heard anything oh. but i promise you if i do i'll be tweeting about it yeah let me know <laughs> um now in the past possibly the judges haven't always well let's say connected but this year sharon seems to be kind of the link bring them all together they seem to be getting on very well are they getting on as well as it seems what like all the contestants and all the judges all oh, the judges yeah. oh gosh um i think so they're all quite connected they all hold each other's hand backstage and then hear the music duh, 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 and they all hold hands they've worked together for so long so they're bound to have friendships i know louis really close to sharon and sharon said he's like a little schoolboy. he gets all excited over certain you know um like contestants and um I think at the end of the day, they've all got their own families as well. They don't just sit here at this desk all day. They've got their own families. They've got their lives, and then they've got to dedicate to that. And you know. Before we go, now you're out. Can you tell me any goss from the house? Who's hitting on who? Come, oh. on. come, on, come on, Lorna. I can't tell you. I yes, do you can. not. I spent most of my time in my room. Rubbish. <laughs> okay, look, I don't smoke. Nearly everybody hanged out in the smoking area outside, plus it's freezing. So I was always in the kitchen with the chefs, the security, with the researchers. Yeah, I saw the, you know, like the younger contestants running up and down. Everyone's very... Like? But the thing is, everyone's very um, passionate. So we do hug and kiss a lot. So you, can't, you couldn't be able to say, oh, so-and-so's got a thing. Because you'll see one guy grabbing another guy, like grabbing his ass or something, but they're not... Like, I don't know. Well, because, I mean, last week I met with Gary in the group tonight. There were whispers of Jay, Kingsland Rhodes, Jay and Tamira. Wow. OK, but do you know what? That's probably going on. You don't know, but at the end of the day, they're living together. And that's what it was like. Everyone was all, was all getting connected. We're learning, you know, about each other's personalities. And the younger categories, they do tend to stick together. Yeah. You know, the groups and that they all hang out together. And, oh, there's bound to be chemistry somewhere. Oh, They're human. There's a lot of hot people in there. Yeah, <laughs> but it's all, you know, it's all harmless. And um, before you go, um, who's on your money to win and who would you like to see win? Oh God, I really couldn't make that call. Um, I'm really close to Shelley and Shelley underrates herself. And I'd love to see Shelley win, but God knows who could. Who do you think will? Has got a good chance. Who's got a good chance? They've all, that's the thing, because they all bring it. When I watched it back backstage and looked on the TV, I looked and I thought, oh gosh. At the start, I was like, oh, I, w I wonder if certain, but they've all been stepping up. So you just never know. Okay. It could be, but it'd be really interesting to see. Definitely. This is the 10th year anniversary. Things have twists. Look at boot camp, the twists. You, you just don't know.